Dan here, and I thought, what better time to answer a question about ENFP entrepreneurs and whether or not it is possible for us to have a consistent schedule, then we'll take in a train, which in theory do have consistent schedules. I am right now on a very, very old, uh, going from Zagreb, Croatia, all the way back to Prague with a stopover in Austria on the way. And I've just been on a train trip, finishing up the second, third draft of this new book and uh, going to Zagreb, which actually I have a lot of Croatian heritage and I've been to Croatia before, but never the capital. And so I wanted to find out, are all people in Croatia as insanely friendly as my uncle, my mom, and my grandmother? And th the truth is yes, it's, uh, it's genetic. It's not just, just my family. So, well, I guess families are genetic. Okay, consistency, focus, Dan, here we go. So one of the things that's really important to understand when you're thinking about your personality and you know, for this case, can we be consistent? Can I make a routine? Is most types admire in others and crave the thing that they are not naturally as strong in and sometimes at the cost of what they naturally do really well. So for example, ENTJs are like the masters of consistency. So it's very natural that ENFPs, when we're friends with ENTJs, we admire them. We're like, how do you do this? How do you keep the same routine? How do you keep the same thing over and over? And that's something actually I talk about uh, in my book, The ENFP Calling. But at the same time, ENTJs are looking at us being like, I wish I could be that creative. I wish I could improvise and be spontaneous. Like the ENTJ can build the systems to create, um, to stay on task, to do all these things, but generally don't do so well when it comes to like being unique or creative or exceptional in something. Where ENFPs can be tremendously unique, can be creative, can be spontaneous, but we're not gonna be the most consistent with things. And that makes sense if you really think about it, right? That those traits are opposing to one another. You can't be this highly structured person and also be spontaneous and creative and all this stuff too. Now, does that mean, I'm gonna to try to find like a comfy position here with a view. So does that mean that we can't actually uh, be consistent? Yes and no. Okay, so here's my advice if you're an ENFP entrepreneur. Focus on the thing that you actually want to do and let that drive the routine. And what I mean by that is, often we try and think about the routine we want for the sake of just having the routine. You know, oh, there we go. So people will say to me, oh, you know, I want to, I read this book, I want to get up at uh, 6 a.m. and do a gratitude practice and do yoga and do this and this and this. And my question would be, why? What do you mean? Why do you want to do that? Like, what are you actually achieving in your life? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to do? And so often the answer is a little bit lackluster. The answer is just like, well, you know, I want to feel a bit better or I want to just get by and have a little less stress or something like that. And for me, I don't think that is very plausible as an ENFP. I think that what drives us to have a great routine is something that we're really excited by. I'll give you an example. Right now I'm finishing this book. I don't know when it will be finished because I'm pouring my heart and soul into it, uh, but I love it. I, I love the process and I feel like it is one of the books that I'm meant to write and almost every day I talk to someone that I wish I had it finished to share with them, right? So I have a lot of drive to get this done and get it shared with people. So, what does my routine look like right now? Did I plan out this masterful routine? Did I break my day into blocks of time and all this? No, I tried. I tried to do that. I tried to lay it out. I couldn't really make it happen. But I'm so focused on getting this book done and I'm excited by it that I've naturally fallen into this routine where I'm waking up around 6 a.m. without an alarm I do some, uh, I turn my YouTube lights on really bright because it's winter here or almost winter. So I do the bright light so I feel a bit better about the day. I drink a couple liters of tea, I read, and then 
I get into writing. And I keep, most days I have my phones off and the internet off until around one o'clock, something like that. I do, as I've talked about before, I actually have a time release safe that I often put uh, my electronics in the night before. So anyhow, I have this quote unquote routine and I'm pretty damn consistent with it. But it didn't come from, I want to wake up at 6 a.m. because some book told me I should wake up at 6 a.m. It's coming from, I really enjoy this and I want to finish this book. And this is just what naturally then came about. And it's been quite consistent in that way. The other thing is, I think your routine should build from whatever it is you're trying to do, right? So it's a very different routine when you're writing a book versus if you're doing eight coaching calls a day or hosting an event or yada, 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 right? And so the idea of having one routine for your whole life is insane, right? You're gonna change the routine based on what you're trying to, trying to accomplish. And if you're an ENFP who's like more living your calling and designing your life to have enough excitement and stuff, you're probably gonna change environments sometimes. Like this last week, I've been taking trains around the Alps and uh, down to the Balkans, and that's gonna be a bit of a different routine than when I'm back in Prague. And so being able to adapt your routine to what it is you're trying to accomplish, and then being focused on accomplishing something that you're so excited about that it's gonna drive you to have a healthy routine. The times I've had the best routines is when I'm really excited about something. And I say, you know what, I'm not gonna drink, I'm gonna exercise every day, why? Because I wanna be at my best to do this thing, whatever it is I'm trying to do, not just for the sake of it. Now, the one thing I would say that can really help is to figure out what components of a routine work really well for you. I know, for example, for me, having my phones off in the morning, premium, huge part of a great routine, right? Cardio exercise, very important part of a routine for me. Um, doing something that I love and enjoy early in the day, very important. So if you're trying to build your business around things you don't enjoy doing, which when I'm hired as more of a business coach is one of the main things I work with people on. Like if you have this list of to-dos because you've been following some marketing guru and they've told you, you know, you have to send 20 messages on LinkedIn a day, you have to post on Instagram four times a day, all this kind of shit. And you don't like doing that because who in their right mind would like doing that? It's going to be really hard to make a routine. It's like, yes, I'm going to build a routine to torture myself. That sounds really like it's uh, going to work out. So it's really important that you actually enjoy what you're doing. I love reading, I love writing, I love creating. It's pretty easy to have a routine where, you know, I get up and take a train ride and work on my book, or I have tea and read a book. That works really well. So one of my personal approaches as a coach and when I'm sharing this advice is to go with the big picture. I'm not gonna teach you how to build a more effective cage for yourself, you know, to build torture contraptions that will keep you doing work you don't enjoy doing. That's, to me, is just ridiculous. Um, so overall, ENFPs, number one, have something you're excited about to drive your routine. Number two, adjust your routine to match the thing you're trying to accomplish or just to keep it fresh. Like you might wanna change routines every two or three months based on the seasons or based on just your moods or whatever, because having a fresh routine will keep it a lot more interesting. And number three, yes, we gotta grind sometimes when we're starting out a new business. Sometimes there's periods where you have to do things you don't wanna do. But if your current business plan involves consistently doing things you consistently don't like doing, then fix that before trying to build some routine to force yourself to do things you don't like doing. My name is Dan Johnston. I have a book called The ENFP Calling that uh, doesn't suck. You can read the reviews if you want proof of that. Uh, it's available in audiobook, in print, and in uh, ebook as well, everywhere you can get books, including Audible and Spotify, actually. So check that out. I uh, poured my heart and soul into it, and it's mostly original ideas and concepts you're not seeing on YouTube, and it comes with a bunch of freebies. So do check that out. 
and I am throwing an event in Mexico in February called ENFP Fest. There will be 12 of us ENFPs in a luxury villa in Puerto Vallarta. If you go to ENFPEvents.com, you can find all the details and request um, attendance, basically, to, to come to it. So have an awesome day. See you soon.